Hey peeps, Jess here and welcome to the Ultimate Seattle Ice Cream Tour, part two. If you've missed part one, I'm gonna link it down below and up above because you need to catch up on that because there's so much more ice cream. And the other one was in Capitol Hill, but today we are in Ballard. Ballard is home to some amazing brunches, really cute clothing stores, and a lot of ice cream. Like the last video, we will be skipping some of the Ballard ice cream. This time it's because we've already been there, so like salt and straw, already done. So with that, let's go grab the scoop. First, we have Sweet Alchemy. This is Sweet Alchemy's second location. Their main one's in the U District, and this one is both really new, it opened in April, and is inside a Mighty O Donuts. So I can see it being a bit easy to miss, but it is there. What I've always loved about Sweet Alchemy is their commitment to flavor. Lois co-star location, as of all things, it was a Hagen dazs and then she sold out the Hagen dazs back to Hagen dazs and did her own thing, and since then she's just been really into really bold flavors and really good flavors for everybody, lots of gluten-free and lots of vegan options. Today I've got with me the dark side, which is chocolate base, chewy ch cookie bits, and ganache swirl, and it reminds me of a really clean version of the Ben & Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. It's really cocoa chocolate through, with some really nice brownie bits just everywhere, giving it a nice chew. This is like a good, like, having a bad day movie ice cream. Any of it's for all of them at Sweet Alchemy, they're just really into that bold flavor. Also a pro tip, they're one of the handful of places in town that do ice cream cakes. I believe Molly Moon's is the other one, so now you know. Next is Full Tilt, and this is their Hero Eyes Chocolate. Very nice and fluffy. I feel like you go to Full Tilt because you want ice cream with your pinball. No, seriously, they have a whole selection of really awesome pinball machines, and also they do things like beer floats and ice cream. This is the Hero Eyes Chocolate, their dark chocolate ice cream, and it's very fluffy and light and very kid-friendly flavor, but also I could see throwing in as it drips throwing in with some beer and having a good old time. And yes, it is very soft, but they're all gonna be very soft. It's gonna be 80 degrees out. It's gonna be the theme of the entire tour. Surprisingly, the flavors weren't as bold as you might think with a name like Full Tilt, but I also feel like they fit what they're going for. They're really child flavor favorites from when you wanted to hang out in an arcade in the afternoon and you want something light and creamy and sweet to go alongside it. Number three in the only bit of shade in Ballard right now is Parfait. I think of Parfait like Kurt Farm Shop and Molly Moon's had a baby because it's the same farm fresh aesthetic that you get from Kurt Farm Shop, but with mix-ins. Like this is the cacao nib with blackberry ripple and you've got this lovely bit of sweetness and tartness from the blackberries and then the crunch and savoriness from the cacao nibs. If you haven't had cacao nibs, give them a shot. They often come off as a little savory, but you still got that chocolate note, really nice. And like Kurt Farm Shop, they also have a lot of farm to scoop stuff going on. In fact, Seattle Farm Company grows the stuff like their mint on site, and they work with a lot of farmers to source the flavors. If you can though, try the sorbets. They tend to taste exactly like the fruit, and it's so good. The apricot sorbet right now straight up tastes like apricot or apricot jam. It's really awesome. Last, certainly not least, we are at Bluebird in the Finney Greenwood Street area. I swear it makes sense, Finney becomes Greenwood. We're north, we're north of Fremont. 
This is their strawberries and cream. I got it with the hot fudge mainly because that is an honor and an ode to the now gone chocolate pudding, which was one of the greatest chocolate ice creams in this dang town. Instead here I have a lovely, fluffy, creamy, very gentle strawberry flavor with a lovely kick of the hot fudge making a gorgeous drippy mess and I am not complaining about that. Still complaining about the lack of chocolate pudding, but that's not their fault. I recommend Bluebird most not just for their ice cream, but for their sodas. When they have sodas available, it's one of the best root beer floats in town, along with the best soda in town next to RGB. I'm serious, if Snickerdoodle soda is on the dang menu, get it. It's really good. It's like a cinnamony cream soda and it's delightful. As for this peep though, it's wonderful, it's fluffy. It's got a very similar profile to Molly Moon's in that they are retro with a twist. And this would also be wonderful with their CB's Nuts peanut butter. Just super duper peanut buttery as a PB&J sundae. Just saying. And that is part two done of our ice cream tour. There will be a part three because dear goodness, I skipped West Seattle. If you're interested in catching part one again, it's gonna be right here. Part three will be here when I have it ready. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What is your favorite ice cream so far? Because clearly we have options. I think today my favorite is the cacao nib because I, I love cacao nibs, but they're all pretty spiffy. And so of course, I'll catch you next time. Laters.